Hi, this is the Make Citizen. In today's video, I want to show you the three ways I'm using for collecting data in Graph. Let's get started. Collecting data in, a, in my workflow is a very important uh, aspect of my work uh, using Craft. So this is why I wanted to create this specific videos about how I'm collecting data into Craft. So as you can see in this diagram, collect is then followed by a few other steps. But today I want to focus on that one. The first way to collect a bookmark in Craft is to use the action sheet. So let's say I'm visiting a website where I find an article that I want to save for later use. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go in the action uh, button here and then I'll select craft. Then I'll be able to add to craft, but first I have to select in which space I want to add this uh, bookmark. So I can select here the space I want. I'll select the inbox space. I'll explain that space later. And within that specific space, there's a document where I can select uh, which one I want. So I'll select the, uh, this one here, and then uh, the, the, the bookmark will save, and I can add some text as a comment. So I'll hit Save. And then if I go on in Craft, you'll see that there's the bookmark I just saved and the, uh, the text. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is when you're using a, uh, a RSS reader like News Explorer. And if I find an article interesting again that I want to read later, I can just, again, hit the action button, select craft. And for this document, I could select the rumors to process um, document within the inbox space. And then that's a cool iPhone 15. Pro rumor, and then I can, can click save. Again, if I switch to craft and I go to the uh, rumors to process right there, you'll see that there is this bookmark I created and the text for it. So that's using the action uh, action sheet of uh, craft. The second way of collecting data is uh, if I want to save a old page uh, within Craft. And for that, I'm using a shortcut called uh, the Craft Clip shortcut. I'm using the version 1.3. I'll put the uh, reference in the show notes so you can download it for yourself. So the uh, Craft Clip is pretty simple. So once I'm uh, visiting a, web, a website or an article, I can just again, go in the action menu and then select shortcuts. From there, I can select the craft clip and then I'll set it to execute. And it will ask me in which uh, space I want to save the document. I'll select the inbox. And then in this folder, I want to select. And when the article is saved, you'll see that the uh, content of the article has been saved right there. As you can see, that's not exactly uh, perfect, but if I go there, I can go up to there and then I can just hit delete. And as you can see, I have all the content uh, that I want. And I just have to just clean up the, uh, the content that, that I don't want. Uh, it's not a perfect method, but uh, it works uh, better on the uh, iPhone or on the iPad. This specific shortcut works better there. The other thing I could do is pretty simple. If I do exactly the same thing, uh, there is a, uh, a, an extension, a Safari extension called Mark Download that I can use so it will download exactly this article. When Once it's done, I can go back in Craft and then I can select a folder there, just select Import Markdown, and then I'll select the uh, Markdown file that has been um, downloaded. As you can see here, the result is pretty clean and I don't have any uh, cleanup to do myself. So that's the second way of importing an, an art, a full article within Craft. The third way I'm collecting data in Craft is when I want to select a portion of an article of a, of a web page that I want to save in Craft and uh, that I want to keep some information related to the context of where the selected text has been 
um, found. So let's say I'm just uh, visiting a website here and I want to select this specific paragraph so that I can save it into uh, craft. So I have set up a shortcut to be invoked using the uh, popular pop clip uh, utility on macOS. So I just hit that um, clip um, extension. And then if I go in the um, section here, which where the uh, paragraph has been saved, you'll see that I have a date, the exact paragraph that I saved. I can add here some text for later use. I have the source and the actual um, bookmark to the website. So that's the third way uh, where I'm collecting data. So it's for different purposes, uh, depending on what I need. If I want to save only a bookmark, a quote, or the old article, there's three different ways of uh, collecting data. So as you saw in uh, the previous uh, uh, segments of this video, uh, you saw that I'm saving all the collected data in a specific space within my craft environment. This space is called inbox. And the reason why I'm setting up a specific space for um, collecting data is because it's easier to process in, the, uh, in my general uh, workflow. So as you can see here, this is the inbox space that you are actually uh, seeing there. And all the uh, specific place where I need to uh, save uh, different uh, data as a specific uh, document associated with that. So as you can see here, there's a, a, pin, doc a pin document that says exactly what's the purpose of this specific document here. So I have a, a specific uh, folder for uh, future additions to the craft Bible. I have the same thing for uh, a, a space where I'm saving all the quotes uh, I want to process later. I, I have also a place with all the full articles that I'm going to read later and process later. Uh, it's called clips, but it's because it's, it is associated with the craft clips uh, shortcut. And then there is a specific document for the digital garden uh, where I have a uh, document for future edition of the NCI newsletter. So as you can see, I have a way of organizing during the collect uh, phase of the workflow all the information I'm collecting into Craft. So I like it a lot. And when I'm actually processing the information, uh, usually the information won't stay there for long. They will be moved within their respective uh, space, depending on the actual information. So that's it for the way, in my, the, the way I'm collecting data and how the Craft environment is set up to support this uh, collection of information. So that's it for this uh, first video of 2023. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. I hope you like and learn a few things along this along the way in this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Again, thank you very much for watching and see you for another one. Peace.